so. Well, uh, welcome to the Rusky booth. My name is Christian, and I uh, would like to introduce you to our new excellent and very, very well demanded uh, lighting source called Lightpack. Uh, here we have an excellent solution to uh, put a lighting source where no other lighting source fits, fits such as cars. How to get light instead of a car is now an easy, so an easy uh, task by like just using one of our 8 millimeters thick clear uh, acrylic panels uh, that get light from the uh, top quality LEDs. With this pattern that you see that we engrave on the acrylic and this new reflector that we have designed specifically for this problem, you can have a very nice, even and soft light in different sizes with all types of accessories from dimmers to holders to uh, battery packs to help you get light inside of any uh, small room behind windows, uh, behind doors, on top of tables, uh, behind actors, and as I said, also inside of cars. Okay, uh, I guess a couple questions. What sizes do you have available? We have a number of standard sizes, uh, okay. ranging from 7 centimeters round to 61 by 61 centimeters, which are the panels that are on there. Okay, just kind of go over there and have a look. I'm going to use your head as a reference, actually, so that's good. Big panel. Uh, we can also uh, make uh, custom sizes under request. Okay, and so the, I guess, like maximum light level, do they scale proportionally as you increase size, or do they get smaller and smaller, I guess, because the service area, uh, because of the perimeter, uh, as, a proportion, as a function of the area, becomes smaller, doesn't it? Well, we recommend for filmmaking not to get the two LED opposite sides on, on longer distances than 60 to 70 centimeters. Okay. So we have a limitation in the acrylic panel, which is about three meters long, and the width can be wider, but we like to stick to about 70 centimeters by three meters in case you want to go to uh, custom sizes, okay. because otherwise the intensity really reduces slightly on the center of the panel. Okay. Of course, what it's mostly used is to put some of our standard sizes next to each other to keep a very nice and powerful light out. Okay. Uh, I guess for power level or power output, how do you measure that? Or do you have a certain metric or certain specification for the square, like for the surface area? Uh, you mean when we make the standard sizes? Yeah, I get, yeah. Like when you when, when someone wants to buy one and wants to figure out like how bright do they need it? Like, do you have? Uh, well, we 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 uh, the information we submit to customers is based on the standard sizes we have, on and also on some distances we supply information about luxus and food candles. Okay. And then the professional makes his choice among the range of standard sizes. All right. And then is this information already available on your website or it is, is it? Yes, okay. It is. Excellent. Yes. Cool. Uh, is there anything else you want to show me? Uh, sure. Uh, you can have a look to our Roscoe View product. Which is, okay. Uh, so I'll just actually just shoot the sign here: variable intensity and exposure on windows. Okay. Okay. Tell me about it. Uh, okay. So it's a film, or is it actually a replacement well, piece is, of glass? The magic comes from this polarizing filter. Okay. Which is a linear polarizer that also works as an ND3. So. It reduces light by one stop only, whereas all the polarizers get to even three stops. This is meant to be set up on top of windows for uh, situations where you have sunlight coming into a window, and that window is going to be on the camera uh, angle, maybe, on the shoot. What we do with this is we laminate it on top of acrylic panels like this. Okay. So you have a six millimeters rigid acrylic panel that you can easily mount on top of a window. Okay. Just like this. And you have then uh, an MD3 on the window 
that you combine with another polarizer on the camera. And by rotating the filter on the camera, you can uh, control the exposure that the camera is getting on the windows. In other words, you control the lighting that is coming into your windows without uh, changing any lighting of the uh, actual set. Interesting. Meaning that in case you have the lighting inside ready to have a cloudy day and you're going to have an interview and all of a sudden the clouds go clouds away and all of a sudden it starts to come in, today the only way to balance that is to put more light inside unless you have enough time to change filters from the windows of course. If you don't have time, and that mostly happens, then you have to increase lighting to balance. Now all you need to do is to rotate the filter in the camera and you control the exposure the camera is catching on the window okay. instantly in seconds. So uh, what exactly is this cable connected? Is this to well, rotate it? Or? Uh, the, the camera filter is again the same filter in yes. between two glasses. Right. The filter can be put into a mat box and be rotated manually, right. but also for multi-camera purposes. We have also designed this motorized rotator. So you can rotate this remotely from a switch or even from a computer via internet with an IP address. I see. Okay. Interesting. So you can you can really, I believe, get a good effect. Put your camera here, and I rotate this, just pretending it's the camera filter, which will do the same effect. So you can go all the way to blackout. You can see how easy you are changing the incoming light without changing the uh, TV studio lighting. Yes, I see that. Okay. Excellent. Uh, and then, like, kind of a silly question: as a still photographer. It will work obviously with still cameras too, film and digital. Should be the same sure. effect, right? Sure. Okay, excellent. Uh, anyway, I think I think that's it.